In today's society, food waste has become a big problem. Over 700 tons of food is wasted each year in Denmark alone. This is food that could have been eaten, and it costs the Danish people over 16 billion kroners each year. As a team of six design engineers called Food Lovers, we have now been trying to tackle this challenge in 13 weeks together with the municipality of Copenhagen. We have set out to investigate the Danish food system, making a solution that could contribute positive to the food waste challenge. We started by looking at the entire food system in Denmark, from agriculture to waste management. And we found out that all through the supply chain, food is being wasted. The biggest amount, though, is wasted in private households that stand for over one third of all food waste in Denmark. So we decided to look closer at the consumer level. This includes shopping, storing, cooking, eating, and the disposal of food in private households. The question we asked ourselves was, how much food does a normal household actually throw out? We found out that it depends a lot on the size of households. Generally, a household with four or five people are wasting around 47 kilos of food waste every year, whereas a single household wastes twice as much. We decided focusing on students that usually buy for one person, thereby being a single household. The students we work with were also living in the greater Copenhagen area, specifically in social dorms and shared apartments. Our goal was to really understand their everyday life and their relationship to food. To do this, we interviewed students, made them do food diaries and health workshops. During the process, we identified three key elements that is important to the students. The first is flexibility. The life changes so much from day to day, so they need flexibility in their food system so it can fit into their busy schedule. The second is inspiration. Many students get stuck in eating the same food every day, and it can be hard getting time and energy to spice one's food up. The last is variation. The students want variation in their food, both for health reasons, but also because it get boring eating the same dinner every night. What is interesting about variation is that the students don't need variation in every meal. Where breakfast and lunch are usually based on routines, and the students know what to buy and how to use it, dinner is the real wild card. It is the meal that changes the most, where the students are most involved in cooking, and also where the most food is being wasted. Dinner gets more experimental and spontaneous, resulting in many different ingredients that they might only know how to use in one specific way. These findings made us understand a central part of the food system. People build their meats, meals out of different building blocks, which fits together in what we like to call food units. Food units are very personal and are different from each person. They decide how we associate food and what ingredients we think fits together as a meal. What is common for all food units is that they're built up around a centerpiece with side dishes to it. The centerpiece is a central part of a food unit and often where the planning begins. This means seeing the centerpiece would associate you with the side dishes, but not the other way around. Let's take an example of a food unit, curry meatballs with rice. The centerpiece is the meatball, where curry sauce and rice are the side dishes. What makes food units interesting are the way they're the defining element of how we think about meals and in the end decide which meals we make. We're very comfortable inside our food units and it's difficult to change them entirely. It's easier to add new units to a food library than changing an existing one. That also means it's easier to start from scratch designing tomorrow's meal from another centerpiece than trying to plan a new unit from today's leftovers. We also made another interesting finding. All food ingredients has a status. The status is very much depending on price and time, where new fresh ingredients have a high status. The centerpiece usually also have a high status, such as most meat products. Ingredients with lower status is left in the fridge and sometimes almost forgotten on purpose until it's too old to be eaten and therefore it's okay to throw it out. We call this the red zone. When the food has reached the red zone, it's not considered food anymore, it's just waste. Thereby, people don't consider themselves as food wasters. We want to make a solution that makes students use leftover ingredients before they reach the red zones. This means we're focusing on side dish ingredients that was left from a food unit already cooks, cooked. These ingredients usually are vegetables, 
starting with the lowest food status and are no longer completely fresh. By testing a lot of different ideas with students, we finally came up, came up with a concept reshare, which focuses on the positive impact of sharing instead of not generating food waste. Reshare consists of two elements, both focusing on the experience of sharing, sharing leftover ingredients and sharing knowledge, recipes, and inspiring each other to rethink our food units. The first element is food stickers that would facilitate students to share food that would otherwise be thrown out. Basically, they will put stickers on the food ingredients that they won't get to use, that are almost in the red zone or in other ways they want to share. This will also provide students with an opportunity to test new ingredients. The second element is a workshop that deals with the sharing and social aspect of cooking. In the workshops, the participants will create courses together out of leftovers by peer-to-peer -peer teaching. They will inspire each other to cook in new ways and question their existing relationship to their leftover ingredients. By making students share ingredients, by inspiring each other and changing the food units in their unit library, they will get more variation, inspiration, as well as generating less food waste, all done in ways that still fits into their busy schedule. Share more, waste less.